Now let's check in on the Sydney fish markets. Joining me is Alex Stoles now. Alex, good morning. How's it been there? Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's been absolutely fantastic over the last part of the 36-hour trade. Uh, yesterday was a little bit quiet. Today's a little bit busier. But as you can see behind me, we are absolutely prepared for your visit. The shelves are filled with fantastic Sydney Rock and Pacific oysters, cooked farm black tiger prawns, wild eastern kings, and everyone has been ready for COVID for a few weeks in advance. It looks amazing there, Alex. What has been the popular items this morning? Uh, the popular items this morning have been, as ever, big prawns, little prawns and medium prawns, everything in between. So that's the farm black tiger prawns, wild eastern kings, school prawns, banana prawns, you name it. We've also had a really great year for our oysters. So these are the Sydney rocks uh, found in New South Wales and then Pacific oysters from further afield. We've also had a fantastic year for lobster, both in availability and quality. And the fish have been doing really well these last few weeks. So we've had some big, au big auctions in the lead up to the 36 hour trade and it's still going today. Well, it certainly looks packed behind you there. When did people start queuing up this morning? Uh, people were queuing up from all hours of the night. Midnight there were queues, one in the morning there were queues. There's been queues in the car park, which we've used exclusively for COVID marshalling this year. So with a single point of entry, doing the QR code registration, that's been happening since 5 a.m. yesterday, and it's going to continue non-stop until 5 p.m. tonight. Well, people want to get their seafood. It's a big day tomorrow. Now, Alex, have you had any supply issues at all? Particularly, we've seen those border closures this week. Has that at all had an impact? Uh, if, if it has, it's certainly not been felt at the market because this year we've seen more and better priced seafood than in years gone past. Uh, so last year, the medium prawns were going for mid to high 30s a kilo. This year, you can expect to pay less than $30 a kilo at the market. And we have seen an outbreak uh, this week in parts of the northern beaches as well as a little bit in uh, other areas. Uh, has the outbreak at all impacted people coming there this morning or does it seem to have not had an effect at all? Um, we've seen about uh, maybe a third or half the numbers that we got last year, which is in line with what we were expecting. Uh, we knew a few months out that this year was going to be a little bit different for us, and we started anticipating that we were going to get the full complement of about 100,000 people. So we've prepared infrastructure to handle that amount. As it's happened, we've advised, particularly families, instead of coming in as a group of four or six, maybe send just one or two to do the shopping, get what you need, and then head back home. And a lot of people have done right and, and heeded that advice. So while the visitor numbers are down a little bit, the seafood is still getting traded at about the same volume. So it's a really encouraging sign, not only for Australian Christmas tables, of course, but for Australian fishermen. Absolutely. Some great advice, but I tell you, uh, it looks absolutely delicious there, those oysters. Alex Stoles now. All the best. Have a great Christmas. Thank you for joining me. Thanks, guys. Merry Christmas.